My name is Warren Patrick, and this is my resurrection story. I was born in 1957. I was a number five child of eight. We had a large family. We grew up in church, and every time the doors was open, we went to church. Uh, my dad worked away from home a lot, so mother was left to, to attend to us. And one of, the, one of the important things that she done was she would quote scripture to us. Sometimes when we were fussing and fighting or grumbling, she would always quote the scripture. Do all things without murmuring and complaining. And that's, that's impacted my life. At the age of 13, I attended church camp. And that's where I asked God into my heart. And during this time, I started to notice that I was real good with children. And I would help the mothers in the church with the small children when they, they would go to choir or go to prayer. And sometimes I would have a couple in the nursery taking care of them. And I didn't think much about it. I never realized at that time the impact that children would have on my life. Along about this time, my parents had quit having children, but they, so they opened up their home to foster care. And over the next several years, uh, they, would, they would have 24 foster children come through the home. And I got to see then what a tremendous impact on children's lives that a positive, loving environment has on them. They would come in broken and upset, abused. They was just like become just like one of the family. During my teenage years, one of the things I struggled with was depression. And I battled it daily. Sometimes it almost got unbearable. I could always go home and be there, surrounded by love and family, and was would always bring me out of it. After I graduated high school, I went to school for a little while, and then I met a lady and we got married. A few years later, we had two beautiful girls. They was the joy of my life. We had a lot of good times together, and at that time, I was working construction, and I got to spend quite a bit of time with them during the colder season and being laid off. They began to grow up, and as they got on up in the years, a little older, I became a workaholic. I was trying to provide for them, but it was materialistic. We had been attending church regularly, but after this happened, I started working a lot. And I quit attending church and dropped out of church. And so I just walked away from the Lord. Just I eased away from Him. And after 21 years of marriage, my wife and I, we had grown apart and my marriage ended because I stepped off into adultery. It ruined my world, ruined my family, and it ruined my marriage. I've always been kind of an analytical person. When my marriage failed, that's what I've done. I went into research. And through my research and my study, I found the reason, not only for my divorce, but for every divorce that has ever occurred. And that's because somebody got selfish. And it took me a while to come to the reality that I was selfish, that I caused. It was a bitter divorce. My children, which were 11 and 16 at the time, were not allowed to see me or visit me or have any contact with me. And this went on for five years. 
but my youngest daughter, she had gotten a boyfriend. And so her and her boyfriend had planned to crash our Christmas Eve party one year. And she was going to reconcile with her dad and my family because she missed her dad. But five days before that day, she lost control of her car and hit a bridge and died. So instead of celebrating that Christmas, I was in grief and mourning. The grief and the pain it was so unparable that I, I couldn't I couldn't handle it. So I turned to drinking. And I was mad at God. And I had a lot of conversations with God. But the pain and grief was continued. God showed up one day and He showed me life, my life, where it was headed. He said, you're headed for death and destruction. But sooner or later, you will have to deal with this issue. And I said, God, I don't know how to, to deal with it. I can't carry it. And he said, I do. He said, lean on me and I will get you through this. I fell down on my knees in my living room and I didn't ask God into my heart. It was at that time that I gave God my heart. I quit drinking. I got back in church began to work in the children's ministry. I may not teach them a lot, but I want them to know when they come to me that they are loved and they are the most important person in the world at that time. Today, my life is, it is completely day and night difference between what it used to be. As long as I stay in the Word, then I don't have no depression. The fellowship that I have learned to get into is what gets me by. I used to not have very many friends, but I found out that was because I was not being friendly myself. After several years of being divorced and single on my own, I met Fran, my present wife. We've been married for 11 years, and I not only gained a wife, in that marriage, but God gave me two sons and another daughter. And I have a big family now. I have, we have eight grandchildren. A few years ago, Pastor Mary can informed us about the RISE program that she was starting in the, in the schools. I signed up for that, and that, that was the first time that I'd met Pastor Mary. And then I met Pastor Darren and got to know him. I would attend some activities here at church, some of the special programs, and I just felt the love for the people in this church here. We just, we came into the church and we've been here ever since. I'm Warren Patrick, and I've been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me.